This is the Australian National University Law Library. This video looks at how to find Australian cases using case citators. Case law exists in a number of formats. The original judgment, which for contemporary cases can be found on a court website or unreported judgments collection, in an authorised report like the Commonwealth Law Reports, or in general or subject-specific report series like the Australian Law Journal Reports. You will most likely access case law electronically as a PDF document. But how do you go about actually finding the full text of a reported case? While you may be able to use Google or Google Scholar to locate resources such as journal articles, when it comes to reported cases, these tools are usually not very effective. This is because legal publishers lock down their content behind paywalls and it is generally not available freely on the internet. Case citators are important research tools that provide references to where the text of a judgment is reported, as well as indicate the relationships between cases, which helps to determine their precedent value. Links to the case citators are available via the Law Subject Guide under the Cases tab. CaseBase is Lexis Advances Case Citator. We will use CaseBase to search for the Williams and Commonwealth case. There are a range of search fields on the landing page, including terms, citation, case name, and legislation cited. As we know the case name, we will enter Williams v Commonwealth in the case name field and click search. Identify the correct case from the results list and click on the party name to go to the case base entry for the case. The case base entry includes the party names and parallel citations if the case has been reported in more than one place, a link to the case if it is available, details of the court, judges and judgment date, and links to the different sections of the record. Further down the record you will find an abstract for the case along with catchwords and digest which outline the facts of the case and the legal topics. These should not be a substitute for reading the case. The litigation history, detailing prior and subsequent proceedings of the case, subsequent cases that refer to the case, publications referring to the case, specifically journal articles and commentary, Earlier cases considered by the case. And any legislation considered by the case. To access the full text, click on the citation link to view the HTML version. From the HTML page, select Download Document to access a PDF version with the page numbers which is appropriate to cite. AGLC and courts require that if an authorised report is available, this is the report that should be cited. However, each of the Australian case citators holds the publishing rights for different report series. For example, the Commonwealth Law Reports, which is the authorised report series for the High Court of Australia, are not available on Lexis Advance, but are available on Westlaw AU. We will now use First Point, Westlaw AU's Case Citator, to find cases by topic. From the Cases tab on the Law Subject Guide, select First Point. The search fields in First Point are similar to those in CaseBase and include Party Name, Citation, and Legislation Considered. To search by topic, enter the search terms into the Free Text Search field and click Search. We will enter the search terms found in the Catchwords and Digest section for the Williams case on CaseBase, Executive Power. Using quotation marks around our search terms tells the database to search for the terms together as a phrase. You can refine your search by adding additional terms in the search box at the top of the results page. You can also refine your search further, for example, by date or jurisdiction using the filter options on the left-hand menu. 
The results list will list all cases that match your search. Click on the party names of the case you are interested in to access the first point record. The first point entry includes the party names and parallel citations if the case has been reported in more than one place, a link to the case if it is available, details of the court, judges and judgment date, and a summary which includes digest notes and classifications which are hyperlinked terms that can be used to find more cases that are classified in the same way. Further down the record you will find words and phrases considered, the litigation history detailing prior and subsequent proceedings of the case, the legislation considered by the case, subsequent cases that cite this case and how it was treated, cases cited by this case and how they were treated, and journal articles where the case was noted. To access the full text, click on the document icon adjacent to the citation or click on the citation link to view the HTML version. Remember to cite the most authoritative version if you are referencing the case and use the PDF version as it includes page numbers for pinpoint references. When citing cases, you should follow the guidelines in the Cases tab of the AGLC Guide, which is available by clicking on the AGLC Referencing tab on the Law Subject Guide. When citing a reported case, start with the case name in italics, followed by the year and volume number. Round brackets are used around the year when the volume number is consecutive and the year is not needed for locating the judgment. Square brackets are used when there is no volume number or when the volume numbering restarts each year. Square brackets indicate that the year is essential for locating the judgment. You can use the citations in the case citator entry as a guide for whether to use round or square brackets. Next comes the abbreviated name for the report series, followed by the page at which the case report begins. End the citation with a full stop. To include a pinpoint reference, replace the full stop with a comma and a space, and add the page number where the reference appears. For more adventures in legal research, please view our other videos.